the geopolitical context of Adra offices. The Sahel region is currently grappling with a combination of issues including violence, geopolitical instability, food insecurity, and climate-related challenges. This Sahelian crisis represents a major humanitarian concern for the West African subregion. As of June 2023, according to alerts from the United Nations and humanitarian partners, over 34.5 million people urgently need humanitarian assistance and protection of the 109 million people living in the Sahel region of Africa. One in three individuals require assistance and protection in Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, northeastern Nigeria, and the far north of Cameroon. 11.2 million people are suffering from food and nutritional crises stemming from insecurity resulting from geopolitical instability. Less than 6 million people face critical needs with over half of them being children. Close to 75% of the displacement in the region is attributed to attacks by armed groups and the fear of imminent attacks. In response to these disruptions, Adra offices in Niger and Burkina Faso have implemented a rotational plan to ensure the safety of their personnel while continuing the implementations of assistance programs for target communities. In the same vein, our Adra offices within the West and Central Africa Division have revealed the emergency plans, generating significant awareness among the entire staff working in this critical area of our operations. It is imperative to highlight Adra International's unwavering and substantial commitment to various projects in Togo, Mauritania, Cape Verde, Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger. Unfortunately, the majority of our offices have been compelled to transition from development programs to emergency initiatives to address the growing needs of homeless individuals, victims of violence, and those displaced from their places of residence with the primary goal of preserving their lives. In this report, it is essential to emphasize the crisis affecting Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger for approximately a decade now transcends the geographical boundaries of the Sahel. This complex reality increasingly complicates humanitarian operations and threatens our region's stability. Therefore, it is imperative to seriously consider the development of a comprehensive emergency plan, which should be the subject of a joint study by the West and Central Africa Division and our offices to address the challenges and issues that are now undeniable. The 40th anniversary of Adra in Turkey, March 20-25, 2023. 40 years a significant milestone. Indeed, the Adventist Development and Relief Agency marked its four decades of existence in a memorable faction. This exceptional commemoration served as the highlight of the first quarter of the year 2023 and coincided with the quinquennial meeting of Adra's annual council, the ACC, which took place from March 20 to 25, 2023 in Atalia, Turkey. It is worth nothing the remarkable participation of the Adra offices in West and Central Africa under the leadership of Mr. Aminito Emmanuel, Regional Director of this geographical area. Furthermore, scales development in Dubai, April 17th to 21st, 2023, at the beginning of the second quarter of 2023, some directors of Adra offices in West and Central Africa obtained accreditations and licenses from Adra International in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. During the period from April 17 to 21st, 2023, Adra International delivered a high-level training program focusing on safe guiding. Operational Impacts of Adra in the Subregion Adra West and Central Africa operates in the fields of education, health, WASH, sustainable livelihoods, food, security, nutrition, and emergency management. In 2023, the offices accomplished the following projects and actions. 1,593 individuals in Ghana secured sustainable employment through the IRISE2 project implemented by Aja Ghana and funded by German Cooperation via GIC. Furthermore, Adra Niger assisted 5,563 Malian refugees and 2,225 displaced individuals in Tel Aberi in the areas of education and sustainable livelihoods through the MIEL2 project. 
Adra Bukina impacted 1,200 households, including internally displaced persons and also communities, in 10 accessible villages through the project, promoting peace, coexistence, and enhancing food and national security for vulnerable populations, spanning from 2022 to 2027. Additionally, Adra Mali, in collaboration with Adra Norway, funded by NO. RAD implemented the SEAQE projects. This initiative aims to enhance access to quality education in 25 schools, comprising 23 primary schools and two secondary schools. On the other hand, ADRA RCA provides educational support to various students, including out of school and vulnerable children. Concurrently, the organization has supplied essential items to flood victims and internally displaced persons within the country. Regarding Adra Togo, 528 students, including 249 girls, have benefited from the school feeding project. Additionally, the SERILO project has facilitated the creation of 30 agricultural cooperatives and the training of 300 small-scale producers, including 192 women, with a particular focus on women empowerment. Adra Cape Verde officially opened its doors in February 2023, assessing local needs and engaging with the Bovista municipality. Through the Cashew Good One Adra project, Adra Ghana purchased 100 tons of cashew nuts from farmers in Borno East for processing and marketing. Furthermore, Adra Ghana has established 105 agricultural farms to enhance future income for sustainability. Adra Liberia and Adra Sierra Leone plan to relaunch their national operations with funding and recruitment of qualified professionals. Lastly, Adra Cameroon has made an impact on 18,000 beneficiaries through the support for improving access to basic social services for the most vulnerable people project, supported by Adra International, UNICEF, WFP and Adra France. Adra Outlook In perspective, the division's Adra office plans to make its offices in Liberia, Sierra Leone, Nigeria, ROCA and Cote d'Ivoire operational. Additionally, Adra is establishing a lasting collaboration with the African Culture Alliance ACA in Cote d'Ivoire for the implementation of significant agricultural projects. Furthermore, negotiations are on the way for partnerships with Adra International, GIZ and the World Bank to materialize projects in the major regions of Cote d'Ivoire. Conclusion The Sahel region as the most vulnerable region it is of great importance that the church, communities, and ADRA collaborate closely to ensure ADRA's central presence in social political issues.